Hey, what's up, guys? Um, wow. I got a new item for the gamer shelf. Uh, well, nerd shelf at this point. It's more nerd than gamer. So, um, I got myself, first off, yeah, uh, I got, I got this. Can't see what that is. Don't worry about it. it it's something special. I'm gonna get the camera set up and I'm gonna show you guys. It's gonna be awesome, okay? So, you guys will see it in just a second. Swag, awesome. Got that bright light. Okay, so here we go. Um, wow, and this pan to set you guys to get better lighting. I did not actually set up the camera. Okay, so here we go. I'm sure you're all wondering what this is. Um, and for those who need a bit of filling in, I am a absolute nerd. I grew up watching Transformers, Voltron. Um, stuff like that. Not that I'm grown up, I'm 17, but <laughs> you know what? Heck it, I say. Um, but I, I, I grew up watching older shows. So, like, we're talking, like, The A-Team, MacGyver, Transformers, Voltron, um, freaking, oh, and OG Transformers and OG Voltron. I'm not talking about the movies, um... And Voltron Force or whatever they're calling it these days, and <laughs> um, and I grew up playing the GameCube and the Wii, and there was we talked about the Game Boy like it was new when I was a kid. Well, not like the original Game Boy, but like Michael, my my older brother wanted a Game Boy Advance, uh, stuff like that. Um, so. I am by no means, like, as steeped in modern-day culture as most people. So I tend to get along with adults really well. <laughs> um, so I, I say stuff like, Lord willing and the creek don't rise, just stuff like that. Um, I'm not saying, like, that I can't relate to newer franchises, but a lot of people are like, oh, you guys, you guys don't know what a VHS was, and I'm like, yes I do. I watched a ton of stuff on VHS. Anyways, so, Transformers. In Transformers, I had a favorite character who only appeared in, like, two episodes. Um, and that character was Prowl. And I got a mini Transformer for him, like... Like, the Nissan Fair Lady Mini Transformer, where the legs were, it was like, the, the front was the head, and the legs were the back, and it was basically, um, it was basically the Gen 1 Transformer just scaled down, uh, but it wasn't the Gen 1, it was actually, like, released in, like, 2010, I don't know, I'll try to find a picture and post it on, like, my Instagram, um, I don't... I broke the si the light bar off, and I thought that that there was no meaning in having it anymore, so I ended up throwing it away. <laughs> but I was like, "What is Prowl without the light bar?" So, yeah. Um, but anyways, the model of car that Prowl was in the mini Transformer show, and his Gen 1 Transformer was a Nissan Fair Lady. Or basically just a normal everyday sedan. Kind of like the Crown Vic, because, yeah, that's very yellowed tape, I don't like that. Anyways, so that would explain why I spent a goodish amount of money to get myself something that would be kind of like a comfort food-esque item for the gamer shelf, for the nerd shelf. So, there we go. Just need a little bit of manpower. Here we go. eBay business card? Hello. As a new eBay seller, it's a great honor and pleasure for me to recognize you. I really hope to be a good seller and do my best. If the goods are damaged in transit or you find any other problems, Please contact me in time, and I will try my best to solve them for you. 
Your shopping experience and good reviews are very important to me. If you are satisfied, please leave me a good appraisal. Thank you. And this person does not is not a native English speaker, so that would kind of explain the broken-ish English they used, but that doesn't really matter. They were very nice. Uh, I am fully aware that what I am what I bought was a knockoff of the original Takara. Uh, Tomi Takara Tomi uh, masterpiece Prowl. Um, so oh, it might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, totally. So I am fully aware that this is a knockoff. I am also fully aware that these are knockoff pieces. But arguably knockoffs are, people say, especially in the Transformers community, knockoffs and, like, other companies making the Transformer are in some cases just as good and or better than uh, the original Transformer in and of itself, like the original model. So I'm hoping I have a case of just as good or better, not terrifyingly bad. Uh, but so far, the box is pretty convincing. Um, like, it looks like they put a lot of effort into making this box look nice. Um, I don't see any issues except for the pictures being a bit blurry, which is evident of it being a knockoff. Um, I'm trying to get the tape off carefully, because as much as I'm opening this, I still do want it to be in nice condition when it goes on the shelf. So we're just being very careful with the sticky tape. Like, ah, nah, nah, we're good. I thought I took off a chunk. Um, but yeah. Uh, the guy, I don't think he knew he was selling an, a, a knockoff, or as he, as it's called in the community, a KO. Oh, well. Now, the reason I bought this Prowl was I had this Transformer. Uh, this is Ricochet from the Alternator series. Um, he shares the same sculpt as, I think, Smokescreen? Either way, I bought- uh, I didn't buy this, I got it as a gift. And when I first saw the face, I thought it was Prowl. So I was like, wow, is this- is this Prowl? And then I looked at the license plate here. Which, by the way, a, a New Jersey license plate. <laughs> uh, but, um... And I saw the name, which is Ricochet. I know it put it backwards. But anyway, I really liked this Transformer, so I was looking for someone that was similar. Uh, so I was looking in the Alternators line, and I found out they didn't really do him well in the Alternators line. So I looked elsewhere, and I found the Masterpiece line, where we have Prowl. <laughs> I bought these shoulder cannons. This might not be a knockoff. I bought these shoulder cannons thinking he wasn't going to come with them because the normal version doesn't. But I, the guy apparently just sold me the Amazon exclusive one, which means there, this is a, there is a good chance this might not be fake. Anyway, okay, that's a pleasant surprise. I'm going to make sure that I'm right and that I'm not leading wrong but anyways if i ever get smoke screen or someone else then i have these for them i guess that's always a positive or if i ever lose one i have two extras um these were only like eight dollars though so i bought two it was 16 bucks which is a lot but you know what kill me um this doesn't want to come apart i'm trying oh there's tape okay <laughs> i was like is it is there like a pop like is it pop together that i need to Find where it's like uh, bonded, but no, nah, it's just this tape. Uh, there we go. Now, there is a good chance some pieces of this might not be fake. Um, whoa, the gun went places. Here's the gun. Seems to have a little bit of gunk on it, like someone's hair or something. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's just. A piece of plastic from the mold. Okay, that might be... Oh, no. This is nice. Okay. So, let's... Oh! Oh, this is nice. Okay, so this is a knockoff, I think. Either way, not an issue. Let's see... Oh, wow. This is... This is a P. 
piece of work. Oh, this work line. Anyways, um, whoever did the knockoff for this did a freaking great job. The Z is... Okay, here's one thing. This might not actually be a knockoff. Okay, I am torn. Because there's parts of this where I'm like, okay, that doesn't look quite perfect. That might be a knockoff. And then I look at the pieces that are usually very evident in it being a knockoff. This Z logo is on knockoffs is like smeared, so it's almost completely silver. But it's done almost to perfection. It doesn't look like anything's out of place. This might not be a knockoff. Let's see how these look compared. These look like look to be OEM. The chrome is a lot nicer than these ones. These uh as you can see the chrome is just a bit more of course these are still in a plastic bag, but it's very clear. You can see oh yeah, there's a little bit of bluing, but the chrome is a lot nicer on the ones that came with him. I think there is a good chance that this isn't a knockoff. Anyways, so when you're in vehicle mode, you can take the missile launchers and plug them in. I th I th fully thought that I was getting a knockoff. Um, these are made of flexible rubber. Uh, look at that. That, that looks cool. Um, anyways, we're going to take that off. You can also put the gun on top. The sirens, you can put the up. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't wanna put the gun there, and you can take the missile launchers, put them in the back bumper, and boom, you have Prowl with all the weapons out. That's that's a pretty cool feature. I like that. Um, I don't like the gun on top, but I do like the missile launchers on this side. It reminds me of this one guy who used to live down our street. And for some reason, he was, like, anti-government or something, and he made a homemade missile launcher and attached it to the top of his car. And it was like, what the frick are you doing? But he had a pipe, and it stuck on the top of the car, kind of similarly to how this thing does. Anyways, the police were called on him, but it, he had it, like, stuck to the top of his car, and there was a wire running to the inside of his car. Um, I don't know if it was, like, my parent, my, uh, the rest of the crew at my house thought it was a missile launcher for sure, <laughs> um, when we were kids. Um, but it was, re it had to be removed. Okay, so, let's do the transformation. So, I'm guessing, I'm fairly good at transformers, I think. So, I'm guessing we start by, okay, yeah, that looks like it's supposed to do that, maybe, hopefully. I'm not getting that wrong. Let's separate the... Don't want that. <laughs> uh, okay, so... These legs come down. Uh, let's see. The windshield is like that. Anything? Okay. So... Yeah, this looks really well done if this is a knockoff. But I don't... I, I have my suspicions as to whether it is or is not. That's a really tight joint. I don't like that. Uh, okay, so these windows can flex a bit. Let's not push them. Um, these doors come out. Ugh. I don't like some of these joints. They're oh well, they're fresh. Like they're brand new, so I don't want to. Some of these do not want to move yet. Okay, so we have the legs down. Um, they don't bend. Oh, we got these two pieces. Those are his heels come out. Um, we're going to have to do that anyway later, so I might as well do it now. Okay, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this piece comes out so that... The piece on the inside hinges out. Nice. Uh, and his leg should just extend a right ho. Am I right or am I wrong? This is like surgery. You don't want to do it wrong. Okay, so let's see. What moves here? Ah, yes. The side of his leg does something it like comes out or something okay. Come on. Ah. 
I used to be good at these things. Work with me here. Ah, there we go. Perfection. And then his leg just... There we go. It extends like so. This piece becomes his foot. You pull that up. You go like that. And you move the window down. There you go. Oh, much better. Much better. Everything snaps together. Very nice. Mm, I don't like bending his pieces like this. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay. There we go. A lot of these pieces give me minor to major concerns depending on the severity. It's just... I don't like when a transformer is brand new and all the joints are like really, really tight. Because when you transform them, it feels like you're breaking them and it's like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Legs have been finished. Very nice. Let's see here in China. That looks legit. Um, let's get his arms out here. I can see the head in there. That's really the, the dead giveaway. If this thing is faked, it's either... I mean, if this thing's a knockoff, I'm not going to use the term fake because, again, knockoffs can be better than the original sculpt. If this thing's a knockoff, I think I got one of the lucky few better than the original knockoffs. So far, the whole uh, leg joint series, the leg... The, there's a, something that has to do with the legs, where some of them sometimes don't quite come out right. So this is about, there we go, nice. You gotta pull this down. Pull up his head. Pull his shoulder canes up and out. How does his head go up again? There we go. Perfection. Should just tab in, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, how's this supposed to do it? Okay. How are these arms supposed to work? What? A couple of these joints are still pretty, not brittle, I don't want to say brittle because that's not what I feel right to say, but Ah, oh, there we go. That's what's supposed to happen. Nice, nice, nice. Um, they're still fairly, like, unused. I really... Okay, so this is supposed to snap down, but it doesn't want to. Um, let's just get everything in order. There we go. And this whole hip section is supposed to turn, right? Up now, please, thank you. Kibble's not too bad on this one. I don't want to force you, but I'm going to. Is it not supposed to do it? It is not. Oh, I see. So this folds in. Or not. Looks like it just sits there? Is that supposed to be that way? I don't think it is. Oh. I feel like I got that right. But then I don't know. There we go. And these just pop up. There we go. Ah yes, this is a KO. I am fairly certain this time. I have done... Yeah, okay, so it looks like it's just supposed to sit up like that, I think. Let's put the shoulder cans on. This is one of the most well-put-together KOs I have 
seen, because I watched a couple videos on how to spot a KO. They all looked so much worse than this. This is so well done. It looks like people are actually like getting passionate, like trying to get these transformers in people's hands. So can we uh, rotate that, please? Thank you. Ah, there we go. This one's really stiff. Let me pull that up. So that... There we go. There we go. This is the Transformers Masterpiece Prowl. Cool kit. Let's put this gun in his hand. Fully armed. Not show accurate. <laughs> because he didn't have the shoulder cannons in the show, but I really loved how they looked, so I had to have them. That was not in all the way. Okay, that makes sense. Doesn't quite fit in perfectly. Yeah, one thing the guys noticed is that on the KOs. Oh my gosh, is that supposed to slide into his arm? No. Okay, good. The palm does not want to. Right. Thank you. There we go. Got it. The one thing the guy noticed on the KO. Oh no, I have to rotate the hand um in difference to the original i don't think i did the chest quite right this is getting caught on something doesn't feel quite right i feel like it's supposed to go I don't know, maybe it's supposed to go like that. What's it getting caught on? Uh, there we go. Got it all the way. Took me a second. Okay. So, the shoulder cannons are a little frail. I don't quite like that. But you know what? Who the heck cares? Kibble on this kit, superb. There is barely any back there, it's just that roof. If that could be hidden a bit better, make it 100 times better. But honestly, for what this kit is, I feel like Kibble's been done very well. Like, Prowl was never like the main man of the Transformers series. So with the amount of passion that the person who made this has put into it, I'm very happy. Uh, I'm probably going to keep Prowl in vehicle form. Um, I just, not as many of the parts are sticking out, and some of them are very, very thin, and I don't like that. Um, but look at that. Look at that. Ankle movement. Beautiful. Oh. Oh, she bends. Oh, baby. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've seen ankle movement in a Transformer that good for a very long time. Also, for what it is... The feet are so nice compared to uh, the mold for. I'm gonna set Prowl up somewhere. Not all the jo joints are completely perfectly put together, but not an issue. Uh, for what it's worth, have him looking down at the camera with his gun pointing directly at you. <laughs> anyway, um, for what it's worth, the feet on this kit. Something I don't think people talk about enough in the community are so well done compared to some of the others I've seen. Like ricochets were all like were basically whatever kibble was left on the back area was just shoved into the feet. Like, eh, they won't care. Just put it all down there. Um, and that's something I see a lot with some of the newer transformers. Not with this one, of course, because this one's not new, but. Something I notice a lot, although Ricochet does have an engine gun, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, I notice a lot of kibble just being used for the feet, and not well done either. Anyways, other than that, I'm going to try to keep this sealed for the sake of the shelf, but it comes with a card and the instructions, um, which are so old. Um, I think they might be real, actually, because of how 
like the paper is just slightly yellowed. It looks aged. Um, you can see how Prowl looked in the show if they used this uh, toy as a reference. Um, but Prowl was much less detailed in the show. Like this one, they put like all the detail they could. He was basically just like a white version of smoke screen with a different head. Um, but yeah, this one, posability, compared to Gundam's, it's embarrassing, uh, but for Transformers, pretty good, um, there's even a mid-arm rotation, which you don't see a lot, that's something I was missing from this guy, I feel like he didn't have any, uh, from Ricochet, um, well, I used to think it was Prowl. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put him back in his vehicle form. Um, but seriously, well done. Whoever uh, made the mold for the knockoff, props. I'm impressed. I feel like these should be called like third-party versions or something because it's impressive what they've done here. Let's turn you back around. Put that up. So, yeah. Okay. In all things considered, the hand mold is impressively done. Um, like, to a degree where, like, it looks legit. Um, some of the pieces are done so perfectly that I thought this kit was a le well, this, uh, thing was legit for a little bit. Um, until I saw the ankle and the head sculpt. They're, neither of which were done quite so perfectly. Um, let's get you back together. I don't like how this foot transforms. That's gonna be one pain I have with this, uh, toy. Now, this is a toy. Uh, I will defend to my darkest hour that Gundams are not toys because I don't like it when people call my hobby a toy. But, I'm going to be full stop honest here. Transformers are toys. But that's not a bad thing. Uh, Gundams are not, though. Gundams are not toys. They are model kits. They are what the creator is intending them to be. So if you're a kid and you want a toy and you buy a Gunpla, I guess that high-grade Sazabi... I, guess, I mean, I guess that uh, perfect-grade Sazabi is now your best friend. But it does not make all Gunpla toys. It is whatever the person building it needs it to be. Let's get these out of here. Yeah, the cans are held on with magnets, which I do like quite a lot. Put those back. I might actually crack open the instructions here. Crack open the fine wine that is the instructions for this beautiful kit. Not kit. I keep calling it a kit because I'm too used to gunpla. But yeah. Okay. So the one transformed fairly well, the one leg, but the other doesn't seem to want to go. Come on. Thank you, I say as I complete it perfectly. The legs are the worst part for sure. The rest can kind of just be like, you know, moved. Like, with a little bit of encouragement, you can just say, get over there, and it's like, okay. How's this supposed to go? Is it like ricochet? It is like ricochet, okay. So we'll put the oh no, he's not clicking in there. <gasps> what a fallacy. Oh rut row. That's not supposed to be like that. There you go. Almost bent the plastic half to death. <sighs> you put that down, you put that down, you swing it around, boom, 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 boom. This is a fairly simple concept of transforming this guy. Compared to some other Transformers I've done, i.e. Ricochet and Rollbar, 
this is a pretty simple transformer. Not that doesn't mean it's not fun. In fact, I think the simpler it is, the better. <laughs> um, but I think he is definitely not the most complex thing I've ever done. I like Neo Puzzle, but not in my Transformers. Uh oh, proper fit pieces fitting pristinely. <laughs> I'm joking. I have to force them a little bit. Get in there. Yep, there you go. See, it has a bunch of unnecessary little tabs that make it a really solid vehicle mode. Like, they make sure all the pieces are in place. And if they are not in place, then... What are you doing? You transformed it wrong. So, yeah, except for these side windows, this is a really solid vehicle mode. Um, I say as I bend it in a way that makes it unsolidify. Um, whoa. Oh! <laughs> oh, I, I know it's wrong now. I went through the transformation and forgot to flip these down. Because you flip them down so that it can fully sit correctly. I am an idiot. Bash me in the comments, please. Um, but Wow. Look at this beauty. This is a Nissan Fair Lady. Um, I'm going to get Google Lens and translate what this is saying. And I will put a voiceover in the comments. Or something. Not in the comments. I'll put a voiceover in the thing. Yeah, guys. I called the video a thing. Anyway. Really solid transformation, especially compared to this guy. This guy is literally just like, he flexes with everything, and he, he, the parts never quite get together right. You have to like mash him a little bit, like encourage him. Ugh. This Prowl is beautiful. I love him. Um, and I honestly could not give two garbaging craps that he's a knockoff because it's so perfectly done. It is one of the best. Oh, oh, these arms tab together, I see. Oh, oh, that makes my job leagues better and easier. Way, way. Oh, nice. Oh, it's even more solid than I thought. The arms tab together and then tab into a slot on the bottom of the hood. Oh, it's such a solid vehicle mode. Oh, he's so nice to hold and everything. Oh, so very nice. I wish I could find more Transformers like this one. Um, because it's a really solid build. Like, honestly, there's nothing. You can smack him, shake him. There's no parts jiggling around. This one, you got that hood ornament piece the entire hood wants to lift up the wheels can turn but there's like they're magnetized to a middle bar um so when you shake them all these pieces jiggle around he just constantly makes these flexing noises when you hold them this absolutely silent no flexing noises no nothing uh i like this it rolls pristinely there's nothing getting in the way of those wheels moving here i'll show you I say as this wheel just refuses to move. Uh, one second. There we go. Perfect. Other side. Perfection. Oh, it's so nice. Um, if I had this as a kid, this would have been my favorite transformer because this is so nice. Ah, uh, I guess they don't. I guess they call them masterpieces for a reason, eh? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna put him back in his box for now. Uh, for now, I'm gonna take him out a lot. Uh, <laughs> And, yeah, I'm going to take that tape off. I don't like the tape. I don't like the tape at all. Let's get all that gunk off. Perfection. Put that in nice and secure. Put these in. Throw those in with them. <laughs> I can throw them in the bottom like so. Uh, and, actually, these ones were marketed toward Prowl because he just doesn't come with them. You can see the Amazon.co.jp. Yeah, um, but it's so nice, this knockoff. Even though it's a knockoff, it is nicer than this official 
Transformer. Like, the only thing this has one up on is rubber wheels, which come off. Which is a dumb thing. If you're putting rubber wheels on something, don't make them come off. What are you doing? Look at that. That's gunky. Imagine if that was in your toy box. You would not play with that one anymore. If that came off. And they do kind of easily, which is sad. Um, like, look at that. You can just... You can just wedge it off. It's not even that difficult, which is sad. I'm not trying to dump on this con this transformer. It has a full interior, except for the back seats, uh, which looks really awesome. So it's a shame that it just doesn't come together quite as well as this kit. That, well, as this <laughs> transformer that's older than it. Um, but it's awesome. I love this kit. I'm going to be using the Google Lens to see what the box says. He talks about it interacting with the Masterpiece, I believe 14 was Optimus Prime. Um, but such an awesome kit. I'm going to put all the pieces back together. Put these. Ooh, that's a good place to put them. On the bottom of this. Put it all in the box. Uh, I'm definitely going to leave this guy a uh, review. He didn't know he was selling me a knockoff. He was just competitively pricing the one that he thought was legit, I'm pretty sure. But I don't freaking care. This is well done. Um, so yeah, that is Masterpiece Prowl. Um, more stuff for the ugh, more stuff for the gamer shelf is coming soon. We have uh, Masterpiece Ironhide from Revenge of the Fallen. Not that I liked that movie, but I have some memories associated with that toy, the original Voyager class one. And I believe we also have. Oh, the RX-79-2, not dash 2, RX-79 Ground Gundam, not the EZ-8, well, wow, again, I'm just not going to trust boxes anymore. The EZ-8 is coming, um, and yeah, that was awesome, thank you for experiencing this time with me, if you, uh, liked the video, please do drop a like and subscribe, um, if you got this far... Uh, comment Transformers is bananas. I don't know. Just whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. Um, stay gaming. <laughs> oh, an update on uh, the team. We have enough people to start playing in tournaments at this point. Um, we just got a couple new people. We have Wu, W-U, who's an amazing sniper. Um, he plays Splat Charger and Hero Charger, which are basically just the same thing, um, as most of the hero weapons are, um, and I literally, there's just no point in even trying to dodge his shots, because they are on point, it's scary. Uh, we have Unity, who is, um, a really nice dude, he sounds almost identical to Adrian Monk, which I love. Um, it makes, it makes me happy every time I play with him. <laughs> uh, and he probably, he probably, uh, has gotten that a couple times. Um, and we have, uh, the Unicorn Cookie, who was someone who just decided to join in from SRB2's Discord, I believe. Um, and yeah, that's just about it. Um... We have a pretty wide range demogra age demographic, actually, because uh, Unity's in his early 40s, which is awesome that he's still gaming. Um, uh, I did make sure his intentions were pure, because I know that's going to be a question a lot of you have. Like, he's in his 40s and he's still gaming. What the heck is he doing? Um, I did do a lot of looking into him. Not, like, stalking, but, like... Um, he was level 91 in the game, and he has a, he bought the Switch, so putting that much time and money into gaming, you're just there to game. Um, plus there's no one for, almost all of us are adults, so really, anyway, I'm gonna get off that subject. Um, but, and Wu, I don't know how old he or she is. They've remained pretty anonymous, actually. <laughs> um, they didn't do voice chat, uh, and they do, they do word chat. They're, 
Yeah, they they haven't given any hints as to their life, so that's pretty mysterious. Uh, and then there's this other guy named Tommy who we voice chatted with. I don't know if he's interested in joining the team, but he did join the Discord for the team. So he might just be there to see how things go. Um, but if he's interested in joining, oh, I'll take him off. Um, he was playing pretty well. Uh, but yeah, so as skill rankings go, also there was this guy named Fusion. Uh, but we have yet to do his tryouts yet. Um, we scheduled them for this Saturday, but he missed it. I have to shave. Holy crap. Uh, but he missed it and didn't get back to me yet, uh, which happened with the unicorn cookie, but she did end up getting back to me on a later date. Um, either way, things are going awesome. I'm going to try to get us involved in some tournaments, um, looking at some of the new players tournaments, stuff like that. Well, not new players, but the new teams tournaments. Um, and then if we can't find anything, we'll just do some private matches. Uh, and keep looking. Um, but so far, uh, skill-wise, how it's looking like it's laid out is... Uh, Wu is the highest, because he's impeccable, honestly. Um, I'm at a not-too-distant second. I was keeping up with him, kind of, but not perfectly. Um, and... What is his name? Right, Unity is then next, then Tommy, then Vanilla Jack, then the Unicorn Cookie, um, who didn't show much skill, uh, like compared to the rest, but is showing a lot of potential with the dualies. Honestly, uh, her and Vanilla Jack are pretty even. They are showing a lot, lot, lot of potential with the dualies. I'm super excited to see where they're going. Um, but they were doing better with than me than with the dualies, so um, fairly impressed. Although I'm not really good at the dualies, um, yeah. So we have, and I'm not saying that those people are bad. They are almost as good as the rest. Um, but there is a couple far differences. Um, the biggest difference in skill. Is obviously between Wu and the Unicorn Cookie because it's the top and bottom, but um, I think the biggest difference, like where the team breaks up in skill, um, in 1v1s, I haven't gotten to see how we function in private matches. We're looking at doing 3v3s, I think, at this point. Um, but how we function in skill, the biggest difference is between me and Unity. Um, because... After Wu, there's me. Um, Wu is leagues ahead of everyone. <laughs> but it's awesome. He's He he wants to hang out, uh, which is really great. I, I, I love having him. He's super chill. Um, so it's awesome to have him. He wants to hang out with us. Um, I asked him multiple times, are you sure about this, dude? You're basically stepping down um from being amazing like having a ton of potential to join a lesser known team that might drag you down and he's like no i want to help i want to i want to help you guys grow and i'm like yes thank you so much oh that makes me so happy um so we're all gonna grow together we're all gonna become awesome at this game um we're gonna see how we do in the tournaments we got a i think there's one coming up this saturday um for not this Saturday, but next Saturday, because it is Tuesday. Oh, no, it's Tuesday right now. I could conceptually let people know. Uh, but anyways, uh, we'll see. I have... Oh, shoot, I never asked how available Wu is. But so far, it looks like he's available almost any time. The biggest time difference if Fusion doesn't join. Uh, he's looking like he might not be interested. Um, if Fusion doesn't join, the biggest time difference will be between us and Wu, because Wu is in Britain, or in Europe, so he's five hours ahead of us, um, and then if Fusion does join, 
it'll be a big time difference between Wu and Fusion, because Fusion's in Hawaii, which makes him 10 hours behind Wu. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, I'm gonna put on my retainer, because my missing tooth is probably disgusting to look at. Um, anyways. Oh, ha. <laughs> I still haven't eaten. Um, but... We're doing great. So, yeah. That's all. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, <laughs> um, please drop it a like, subscribe, stuff like that. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Uh, if you watch this far, uh, comment unknown variables. Let's go, baby. Um, so yeah, see you guys later. Bye-bye.